Good day everyone, Dan here. Um, I got asked if I could do a review on my um, Fornetto smoker that I got uh, about three years ago. Uh, a gentleman wrote on one of my last videos wanting to have a review on it because he was looking at buying one. I've had this one for three years now and it hasn't been a particularly bad smoker. It's the only smoker I've got. It's the only smoker I've ever used so I, don't, I can't really compare it to any other types of smokers whether they be um, the Weber Smoky Mountains being another bullet smoker or a um, offset smoker or pellet smoker because this is the only one I've ever used and the only one I'm familiar with. Um, first things first, the only problems I've had with it really are the seals have come off here. This this one's come off. This one on the bottom is still, still holding on but it's starting to come off so what I might have to do there is just buy some of the gasket from Bunnings that self-adhesive one for barbecues and, and attach that there and there but you get a little bit of smoke leakage from it, but it doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. It doesn't really affect the cooking all that much. Uh, the only other thing is on the bottom here, you've got your vent. That one's become really tight. The other two still work reasonably well. Uh, I found that I give it a bit of a scrub with a wire brush every now and then, clean it up, a uh, bit of olive oil in there, or just some cooking oil, and it tends to loosen them up. But that one's definitely starting to seize. I uh, cleaned it up a few months ago and it was working a bit better, but that's one of the only other problems that I've had with it. Uh, they're a fairly simple configuration. You can use them for smoking and, and barbecuing, like you would say a Weber. Barbecue, charcoal barbecue, you've got your lid. You've got two grills, one here at the top. A second one here. Then you have your border bowl. So I generally fill that, this had a barbecue on Friday night, I did some pork ribs, but fill that with water up, and of course sit that directly above the heat. Heat uh, basket down the bottom here, and that will steam, create some humidity in the uh, smoke itself. And um, also helps control the temperature. You can put it in there without water, and that'll just help the heat come up the sides more, and so you're not cooking on direct coals. You've got, obviously these two parts here, all locked together and at the very bottom you have a basket so this basket here has been three years old I'll get that a little bit better so you can see that you can see that's after three years of use probably once or twice a week I use it it's started to rust a little bit but it's actually held up together reasonably well considering um, the amount of heat beads that have been on it I probably hopefully get another two years out of it I don't know if you can get a replacement or not but you know something's probably not that hard to put together for another one the benefit of that obviously putting it at the bottom is you get some airflow underneath all your heat beads i've used this as well as a uh, barbecue direct cook barbecue by placing one of these straight above there so i've also cooked steak lamb chops whatever directly above the heat beads and used as a kettle barbecue as well so it's got a couple of uses, your kettle barbecue and your smoker. Uh, you can also use it as an oven, small oven if you want to put that on there. Uh, the top has stayed together recently, uh, hasn't seized up and that's three years and that's, that's been really good. Uh, I've probably got to give this a bit of a clean but I don't, I don't find I have to clean it all that much. Uh, it's obviously in Fahrenheit and degrees on the temperature gauge and that seems to be reasonably accurate. Another thing that I only just realised what that was for was there's these holes here which have a little rubber grommet on them and it took me a while to figure out what they were for because obviously I bought this when I was new to smoking I'd seen, watched YouTube videos uh, that there's the place, the thermometer through you can put the wire through the thermometer and put it into your meat to monitor your heat of your um, of whatever you're cooking I don't usually cook to thermometer It's something I just go by eye, taste, time. I've never really had a problem. I should start doing it. Probably get better, more accurate cooking by doing it, but it's something that just the extra expense I haven't worried about yet. So that's the Fornetto 18 inch. I believe there's a 24 inch as well. So that's about 400 millimeters. I think there's another one that's about 600, so it's a lot bigger. This one costs $250 from Bunnings and I think they still sell them for the same price at Bunnings, this particular model, for $250. Uh, there is 
Another one that I think is 18 inch as well, a Fornetto, that has a different dial system on it. So you won't get that seizing up. There's just a bolt that goes through and it's rusted on the inside. So apart from that, I've really enjoyed using this smoker and it's been a very good smoker. So uh, I've got absolutely no complaints about it whatsoever for me as a beginner. Well, not so much now. I've been doing it for three years and, and experimented a lot. I've had failures and I've had successes, but it has been very good. I want to upgrade. Eventually, I want to get myself an offset smoker, but until I can afford to do that, this thing is brilliant for the price, and it's held together really well. The actual body is still firm, it's still good. Now, uh, these lugs in here, which hold the bowls in place, uh, this one might be a bit easier. These hold the bowl in place. They, they, they're a little bit loose, but you know, in all honesty, it's nothing that if I get a Phillips head onto there and tighten it, it won't fix. So anyway, that's the uh, Fornetto 18 inch bullet smoker. And like I said, I, I've really enjoyed smoking with it. A couple of little modifications I need to do to it. And like I said, this one's had a lot of use, but it has been a good smoker. So there's the Fornetto 18 inch bullet smoker review. Till next time, this is Dan, out.